So today's trip is going to take us 27 miles further south to Ormond Beach. Ready to go somewhere else? <laughs> Maggie has assumed the position. Happy Maggie. We're starting our 12th day of our journey into Florida with no reservations. And we were just talking that it still feels different. We have to kind of pinch ourselves as we ride by the ocean and by the... Maggie is still in the mama position. Driving into Tomoka State Park. Looking at a sky so clear. So much to discover here. Setting out on my own. All the places I can go. So this is different than mm -hmm. it's dirt instead yeah. of hay. This is a first one. It's a long, long. Long, long and winding road. You still get excited when we go to a new place? I do. Every, every time, do you? Yeah, I do. 52, there we are. Talk about being in the woods. Feels level to me, dear. <laughs> <laughs> you used to be so particular about that. Well, we're set up. Well, wait a minute. I've got to do one more thing before we're set up. Now we're set up. <laughs> <laughs> we arrived at Tomoka State Park a little after 1 o'clock today. Got everything set up. Kind of relaxed a little bit. Let a rain shower go through. And now we're walking just around the campground loop with Maggie. And I gotta say, so far, we love this state park. As you can see, it's not paved. It's like being out in old Florida. And we both have, uh, have made the comment that we don't need a lot of resort you know, amenities for us to be happy. In fact, this campground makes no bones about it. It's, it's old Florida, which means sandy roads and live oak trees and palm trees. But, man, it's awesome. It's awesome. What do you think? I agree. It is awesome. Just today, we saw an article about a lady whose body was recovered after she tried to save her dog when she was walking her dog and an alligator attacked them. We are going to be extremely careful about having Maggie at the gator infested waters here in this part of Florida. You got your mama's sunshine, you got your daddy's rain, you're like a piece of heaven in a hurricane, and it's bubbling over like a sweet champagne you got your mama's sunshine you got your daddy's rain so as mommy gets ready to make stir fry inside the van maggie is resting from her last walk she's just a little comfortable right now hey sweetheart what's for dinner tonight so tonight we're gonna have stir fry Awesome. All right. So we got this frozen beef steak, which we never had before. So this is a, a new thing for us, but it's frozen. It's been in the freezer for a while. So we thought we'd try this. And then we've got all these veggies. We're going to have green beans and red pepper and mushrooms, carrots, bean sprouts, because they have no carbs, and onions. I'm going to chop all this up, and then we're going to cook it. So in the past, we've used fresh meat, we've, uh, and we still do. We had a steak last night that was fresh. But when you buy something that's fresh, you have to eat it pretty quickly. And when you don't know where you're going to be, 
and you don't know what your uh, your plans are going to be for dinner you don't want to pass up a good restaurant and you don't want to have to stop doing what you're doing just because you have something you have to cook so we're thinking that keeping really good frozen meat in the freezer in the refrigerator will help us be able to uh, uh, be more flexible and more nimble with our shopping plans and with our, our itinerary for eating what's up doc what's up doc <laughs> You got your mama's sunshine, you got your daddy's rain. All day long, right or wrong, you question everything. Why the grass is green, can I stay up late, and why do the bluebirds sing? Sometimes you cry your big blue eyes for no discernible reason. Your point of view, it comes and goes like the changing of the seasons. You got your mama's sunshine, you got your daddy's rain. You're like a piece of heaven in a hurricane. It's bubbling over like a sweet champagne. You got your mama's sunshine, you got your daddy's rain. And like the kitchen at home, you have to be a little bit more conscious of your workspace. So once you use something, you gotta put it back. You act just like your father, yeah, you laugh at your own jokes. You're pleased with your opinions, girl, you want the world to know. We don't need no more oh, Lisa, don't need Dolly or Chicago. Look at that ratio. Yeah, we're cooking. You got your mama's sunshine. You got your daddy's rain. You're like a piece of heaven in a hurricane. And it's bubbling over. Like you still sleeping. We're going to go outside and eat. I bet she follows. Here she comes. We're going outside, daddy. We're going outside. Okay. So Lynn made this meal, I just kind of recorded it, but I want to tell you that this frozen steak option, while it may sound crazy, it's really, really good. This is an awesome meal. There's one big bite there. This is an awesome meal. Meat's really good. I'm just more of a veggie person than a meat person. You're the meat person. Works out well. You're the yin to my yang. <laughs> <laughs> If you have meals that you like to make in your van, how about sharing the recipe or at least the description of them down below in the comments. And if you happen to make Lynn's meal here, how about sending us a note on the comment here and let us know if you liked it. Well, I'm not going to stop eating just to make a video. <laughs> We had a major rainstorm last night and as you can see we have the bedding off here because Lynn's window had a leak and the window didn't leak we had the window open because the humidity was just terrible last night so we were having a hard time getting comfortable uh, but it leaked water in filled up this little basin here and her sheets and uh, some of the cover got a little wet so we're having to air it out this morning we sure wish we'd gotten the awning style windows if you're watching this and you're debating as to whether it's worth the extra money trust me it's worth the extra money So this view out the door is pretty awesome, isn't it? I'm at a really good diner today. Yeah, Lynn pointed out I had to send my omelet back because it wasn't quite uh, quite done. So well, I I'll still leave them a tip though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Gotta love this van trekking lifestyle that we live. Simple but beautiful. Beautiful afternoon here 
at Tomoka State Park. So we're gonna go for a bike ride and see what's at the park. We'll show you what we find. I have to get back on my bike and catch up with Lynn. Hello everybody, my name is Captain Scott Cornelius, better known as Captain Corn. I'm a born and raised local to Ormond Beach. I'm born and raised within a mile of Tomoka State Park my entire life. Uh, ever since I was a little kid, about five years old, I remember passing by the store with my grandpa and my dad in a boat and I'd look up at this big brown empty building that never seemed to have anything going on. Yeah. Uh, and I always wonder why. And even at five years old I knew if I ever won the lottery this is what I was going to do with my life. I was going to go get that place no matter what it took. Um, and fortunately, uh, unfortunately, I never won the lottery, <laughs> but I did put myself in the right position to be in the right position when the opportunity came available and we bought the previous owners um, out of their business. And now my wife and I are here. Um, I golf cart to work every day because I love it, um, but I get to tell people about the wildlife that I see on a regular basis. That was awesome meeting Scott and his wife and talking about their store. These old shoes have walked up mountains, these old shoes have walked on shores, these old shoes have walked a thousand miles and they'll walk a thousand more. These old shoes are broken comfortable, these old shoes still look brand new. You can learn a lot about who I am just from my old shoes. Some folks play in work boots. And some folks work in tennis shoes Some people own boat shoes Even though they don't own a boat Some folks work in loafers Some people mow their grass in bedroom shoes Me, I wear my merrills Everywhere I go Cause these old shoes have walked up mountains These old shoes have walked on shore it's not always sunshine and roses when you're traveling. Rainy day in Florida. I think we're going to head to the movies. <laughs> That's okay. It's going to be a good day. So we <laughs> love these uh, dark sandy roads when we were coming in. But as you can see as we're driving out, some of these mud holes are Front wheel drive is a welcome thing to have right now. It's a little slippery. Man, this is a big mud <laughs> hole here. Jeez. Well, we don't have to, but we've chosen to uh, head to the movies whenever it's a bad day or any day like this. I calculated how long we needed to get to the movies at 1.20, and I left maybe five extra minutes. I didn't calculate in the line of people that may, might be at the dump station doing a Cousin Eddie just like us. So we're going to head towards the movies and dump on the way back in. I'm not going to show Lynn right now, but we do figure out there's no mirror for a woman to put on makeup. And put, like I said in the morning of my favorite movies, to put on the dog. 
but you can hang a mirror on the visor and it works really well. I'm sure our bike racks have something to do with this, but we're always having to get stopped, open up this door, and slam that freaking door. How many times have you guys even seen us do that? And I don't know if it's working or not. One way to tell. Yeah, it won't, it won't lock unless all the doors are closed completely. So, so that worked. Man and I don't go to the movie theaters very often, but we like to whenever it's really rainy and messy outside. And as you can see today, it was really rainy and messy wind was blowing but when we got there we figured out it was really crowded all the cool kids came out to the movies whenever it was raining we went to see the green book we loved it beautiful movie then we left drove back by an angry ocean again drove by the seaside found us a little cafe to eat some really good seafood enjoyed our dinner enjoyed our time together all in all a good day wouldn't you say so those of you who are contemplating camping in a camper van or have never done that, this is the process of Cousin Eddie, as I call it, dumping the black tank. It's pretty simple in the Travado. I use a 10-foot hose and it will collapse enough to fit into the compartment on the back of the, on the side of the van over here. See, it goes in that door. Hey, that door was open up just for It goes in there and... And with that, our trip to Tomoka was over, and we'll leave you with some shots we took of the sunset the last night we were there. Lynn, Maggie, and I appreciate you always watching the videos. We hope you'll join us on this journey by subscribing, and we hope we see you somewhere out there down the road.